describing motion using strobe photos. In this video we're going to look at how to use strobe photos to describe motion and we're going to differentiate strobe photos of constant speed versus accelerated motion. So as an object moves, it moves in a particular distance every single second. What I have depicted here are a series of photos and we call this a strobe photo. And what a strobe photo consists of, it's a, um, a sequence of photos uh, taken one after the other um, with the identical time period in between. So for example, these photos could have been taken one photo every second. So picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four, and what we do is we take those photos and we superimpose them on one another and we study them. So what we see in this particular case is after picture one's been taken, exactly one second later, the, uh, the car, this, this would be a car, is located right here and we see that in one second the object traveled d d1, distance one. And then after two seconds the object made it to this position so it traveled from here to here, we would call that distance two. And then after the third second the object would go from this position to that position, we would call that distance three. So if distance one is equal to distance two and that's equal to distance three, then we know that the object is traveling at a constant speed. So a strobe photo is a sequence of superimposed photos taken at equal times apart. So if you've ever um, played around with a flip book where you have uh, images in the corner of a book and you're flipping them to see motion, it's kind of like that idea where the flip images are all located in sequence on the same page. So it's like a flip book uh, all at the same time. So let's look at a couple of examples of uh, strobe photos. So here's an example of a car speeding up. We see that the car starts in this position and then one second later it's here and then two seconds later it's there and then three seconds later it's there. And we see that the distance that it travels from second to second um, increases in sequence. So if D2 is greater than D1 and D3 is greater than D2, the object is speeding up. Now, the same car, but slowing down, we see that the distance is getting smaller and smaller. Um, so if D2 and is less than D1 and D3 is less than D2, the object is said to be slowing down. So these are examples on how to sketch and how to interpret strobe photos. So now let's have a look at a series of um, strobe photos um, uh, taken by professional photographers.